Tomorrow is going to be a big day for dozens of animals once owned by former Atlanta Falcon Michael Vick. The pit bulls, who've been kept under wraps since they were confiscated from Vick's Virginia property last year, are going to be reintroduced to the world, essentially. Tonight, 11 Live's Jerry Carnes introduces us to a Metro Atlanta man who's been serving as foster father to one of the dogs. Brandon Bond is an artist who expresses himself through his work at the All or Nothing Tattoo Studio in Smyrna. Right now, there's not much Brandon can do to express himself about his other love, his celebrity house guest, the one under a sort of tail wagging witness protection. I'm not allowed to discuss the actual location of the animals, the sex of the animals, the color of the animals. Um, all I can really say is, is just that they're awesome. For the past month, Brandon has served as foster dad to one of 50 pit bulls made famous by last April's raid on property owned by Michael Vick. A court order has kept Brandon muzzled, preventing him from revealing much about his visitor from Virginia. On Friday, the order will be lifted and Brandon can reintroduce the victim of Vic, new name and all. The way the media made it out, it was like these monsters, you know, and they're not monsters at all. They're of the three dogs brought to Georgia, Brandon says one wears the scars of dog fighting. The animal under his care is timid, afraid. He doesn't know how to, how to give and receive love. He's really afraid of people. It's amazing. I don't know what they did to him, but it wasn't good. After six months of training, the dogs will go up for adoption. I think it's a really good opportunity um, to, to turn a negative into a positive. You know, the front end of this story was so horrific. And now to see these dogs kind of just hanging out, being normal, I think, I think the world needs to see that. In Smyrna, Jerry Carnes, 11 Alive News. And you know this case is still going on. Tomorrow morning, a federal judge in Virginia will sentence 57-year-old Oscar Allen for his role in the Vic dog fighting ring. Allen has admitted to selling a dog to Vic's Bad News Kennels and also traveling to dog fights. Yeah, it has been a turbulent year for the Falcons.